I'm Joe Gagliano, and the first week in January 2013 were the darkest days of my life. It was a day that I was literally hours away from killing myself. Before I did, I had a warped thought. I had a thought that I needed to come to church to ask God to forgive me for what I was about to do. I decided to come to Impact Church. And um, I walked into the door on that Sunday, and I ran into a guy that I hadn't seen in probably about 10 or 12 years. And um, he just would not let me go. I never said anything to him. I never really told him how dark I was or where my mind was at or what I was going to do, but it must have been written all over my face. And um, between him and other people on, on the staff here, and they saved my life and I'll always be in debt to them. In 1993-94, I orchestrated and financed what still is to this day um, one of the largest sports scandals in history, the ASU point shaving scandal. I got indicted in 1998, and in 1999 I was sentenced to 15 months in prison. I did my time, everything was good, and was driven to prove people wrong about me. Was driven to prove people wrong and let them know that what I was involved with and what I pled guilty to was not what I was about. And I did all that having faith in my heart but not practicing it. And I always had faith, but I never really walked the walk. So when I got out of prison in 2000, I wanted to prove everyone wrong. And I was very blessed along the way and ended up building a pretty sizable company. So I guess what ends up happening that I built a large company and I was blessed. And I was blessed to have the material blessings out there. But I wasn't a good steward. I squandered a lot of the things because I always had confidence in myself thinking I could always build and rebuild. But what happens is, is 2008 rolls around and and I got kicked in the gut pretty hard. I ended up going into the gray area. So long story short, I got indicted again. I got indicted again in 2012. And the thoughts of going to prison, the thoughts of trying to fight the federal government just ripped me apart. I woke up on New Year's Eve, got out of bed, and walked to my home office in the house, and I remember searching on the computer the top 10 ways to kill myself and just thinking that was the answer. But that was my mindset. It was in a bad place. And I came here to Impact Church and um, that journey, understanding what Jesus is all about, it saved my life. You know, everything that I do nowadays, when I make a decision or I interact with people or even talking to my wife, it's from a different viewpoint in my mind. And that viewpoint is, am I pleasing the audience of one? Where I'm always asking myself that question subconsciously, am I pleasing him? five, 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, I had faith, but pleasing God was never even my thought process at that point. I selfishly always did what I wanted to do. I was so far off center. I needed something to get me back to center. And it was an awakening. It's God's plan. There's just no other way to, there's no other way to define it. But, um, my focus has completely changed.